All right, folks. Today I'll make a little video of my kids here. They uh love attention. Most people call them dogs, but I call them my kids. Sit down. I get sit. Ah, trouble. Sit up. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Sit. Here, Roscoe. To make a long story short, short, I'll tell you a short story about my dogs. See Chelsea over here now. She's a little dog that uh, was actually uh. Somebody tried to kill her as a puppy. She, uh, come on, y'all get outside. Come over here. My wife saw her actually on Facebook, and she wasn't but about maybe three pounds or two and a half pounds. She's a little bitty runt. And uh, somebody hit her in the head and tried to kill her in her leg. She was kind of paralyzed on her right leg. Uh, we took her to a vet and also found out that she was laying in a ditch, it was about 30 something degrees. Answer had eaten her all up and she couldn't climb out of the ditch. So we picked her up and took her to a, a veterinarian. He didn't really give her much of a chance of living. But we uh, went ahead and took her to a second vet to get another opinion and he had little hope for her. So we actually took her and we put her on some uh, steroids and a bunch of other type of medicines, injections that he gave her, and he gave her some special dog food with a lot of liver in it, and uh, she was starting to eat a little bit from time to time, but she wasn't really indulging in it. And after several vets, vet 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 visits visits, get down. Hold on a second. Just hold on. Just hold on. Here, here's your treat. Okay, let me give them a treat so they'll leave me alone. Here, Chelsea. Here, Kendra. Oh, let me back up a little bit here, folks. All of my dogs are shelter dogs. They uh, either found on the side of the road hurt or uh, people couldn't raise them and we took them in. Uh, at one time, we had six dogs and uh, one of them passed on. Uh, Benji passed on. But uh, back to Chelsea. She... Uh, I was in really bad, bad shape, and we, uh, he said, just been, this one here is a big pass. This is trouble. Uh, he just, a spoiled brat. There you go, Chelsea. Here you go, Rusko. Okay, that's it. No more treats. That's all you'll get. Well, right now, I'm back to Chelsea. We spent about two weeks with her, yeah, and she uh, looked like she was progressing a little bit. We had a lot of hope for her. The vet said very little hope, but... Uh, didn't know the extremities of her injury. But we found out that when they hit her in the head, she uh, suffered a little bit of brain injury and she lost the uh, complete movement of her right front leg. Uh, we kept working with her, massaging it, and giving her the medications the vet required. And she's back to where she gets around real good now. And uh, I don't think she'll ever recover 100%. She still has a little brain damage. She doesn't see out of her right eye, and she doesn't hear very well out of the right eye, but uh, we'll never lose hope on her. We're going to keep her. Uh, I have posted this on, on Facebook several times, and uh, as it at, when we first got her, what she looked like before and what she looks like now, and there was a lot of people wanting to adopt the dog, but after you bond with the dog, as long as we bonded with this one, uh, it's very, very, very hard to actually just give up a beautiful little dog like this uh, we have Roscoe here who he's kind of like her mentor uh, where you at Roscoe and she follows him everywhere you know they play together I think he understands the damage she acquired uh, with some really human that just uh, had no passion for animals in general but no, that's a story about Chelsea. She's uh, my little sweetheart. Uh, she kind of frowns a little bit when you pick your hand up because I guess she remembers the, the idiot that tried to kill her as a puppy but hit her in her head and just throwed her in the ditch in 30 degree weather. Chelsea, yeah, that's my baby. But she's going to be with me till the day we die, it looks like. She's uh, daddy's little girl. Now here's trouble, and he lives up to the word trouble. He's always into something, and every morning we got to get in the truck and 
to go down to Surfer K and get a breakfast taco if he doesn't get his morning ride him and Kendra there, the little Maltese and Roscoe, he's a little terrier mixed with something else, I'm not really sure, but we got him from the shelter. And if I don't take these dogs every morning, Monday through Friday, get a breakfast taco, they will drive me crazy at the office until I do something. But there's little Chelsea again. All right, for all y'all animal lovers out there, hey, this is Larry with YouTube, and uh, appreciate you watching this video. It's just kind of a short story of my little old dogs and how much I love animals, and we hope there's a lot more people that are passionate enough to to try to save a few animals they can, like we do. Uh, they're not brought into this world by choice, like a lot of kids are. They're the same way, not brought into by choice. So you accept them for what they are and who they are. But one thing I must say, my dogs love me for no matter what the condition is, if I'm sad, I'm happy, or what it might be, they're always there to greet me when I get home, and they never tell me no. Again, folks, y'all dog lovers out there, thanks for watching this video. This is Larry signing off.